Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to place, set up, and use a free camera within Arma. This will work for both Arma 2 and Arma 3. Now before we get started, this tutorial is going to assume that you have basic knowledge on how to use the editor within Arma. If you're not familiar with it, I recommend doing so before continuing with the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set up a trigger that tells the game to activate the free camera. So go ahead and place a unit for your player, grab a trigger and place it in the map. So open the trigger properties and in the video description you will see this script that is player execute camera sequence. You need to copy and paste that into the on activation field of the trigger. Then you'll come up to the activation uh, tab and select radio alpha. You can change uh, activation from once to repeatedly. What this means is that when you activate Radio Alpha within game, it will then trigger this script which will activate the free camera. Changing it from once to repeatedly allows you to do it multiple times within the mission without having to restart it. Okay, so now we will go in game and see how this works. Okay, so now that we're in game, we are going to activate our free camera by using the Radio Alpha command. And now we have spawned a free camera on our player's position. If you want to remove that little crosshair, you just hit the L key. And now you can move the camera with W, A, S, and D. Raise and lower with Q and E. And then your mouse will look around. Now this is, uh, it works well having the mouse and keyboard, but one other recommendation I have is that if you have a gamepad, uh, I use an Xbox controller. Uh, I recommend using that uh, as a camera controller as well and I'll show you how to go in and change your camera control settings here. Configuration controls under development and then the bulldozer is what controls the camera so the most important ones are going to be movement, looking, uh, raising up and down and then of course zooming in and zooming out. So. If you want to change what the default keys are, you can do that. And then you can go in, if you have a gamepad controller, you can go and bind the controller to these controls. And what that does is it allows you to use the joysticks and the triggers of the Xbox controller to get some really fine and smooth movements if you want to get some great panning shots of, uh, of a scene. You can also use the zoom. to get you some really uh, interesting camera angles as well. I've also got the triggers to raise and lower the camera so I can do it nice and slow and steady or fast if I need to. Again, using this controller just allows you to have, uh, gives you more versatility with the camera, allows you to do some really cool things. And I'll show you a better example of that in a second. Okay, so here I'm just gonna give you an example of why uh, having an Xbox controller configure to your free cameras is something that's really useful within Arma. So if I was just trying to use the mouse and keyboard to stay with these soldiers and get some shots of them running through this field, using strictly the keyboard, you can see that as I try and move and sort of stay with them, I get very sort of rigid and uh, unnatural looking movements with the camera. So if I switch over to my controller and just start using it, and I'm using the joysticks, I can keep up with the soldiers very easily and get very smooth and fluid, very natural looking movements with the camera. I can even raise and lower it as I go and stay with them, get all sorts of really cool sweeping and epic looking shots. You can even zoom in and follow them as well. It makes a huge world of difference if you're going to be uh, making some armor machinima, so again I really recommend having an Xbox controller, another gamepad that you can configure and use within Arma. Okay, so I've got one other trick I want to show you as well. So we're going to go back into the uh, editor screen and I'm going to show you guys how to slow down time or accelerate time uh, within your scene. So go back into your script and in the activation place uh, this script which you'll see in the video description as well set ACC time to a specific value here I have 0.5 and that will slow down the time within the scene by half 
again you can put any value you want within that field so we'll go back into the scene activate our camera and then that will slow down the scene by half and again you can just see how it gives you sort of a whole different feel to how these soldiers are moving a bit more dramatic to see them moving in slow motion here Well, now that you guys know how to place the free camera and uh, slow down or speed up time, I recommend just going in the editor and placing some units, placing the free camera, messing around with different shots, different types of shots, wide angle shots, zoom shots, panning the camera around, and then messing uh, as well with the rate of time and just getting some cool shots and figuring out what works and what doesn't work, try and recreate some scenes from your favorite shows or movies and that about does it for this tutorial stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you guys in the next video